Welcome to the Atomic Cast. I am your host, Combat All-Star, and today we're going to be talking about Vixen. And Vixen, for all of you that don't know in regular world, is a DC character, and her power is basically giving the life force of whatever animal she thinks, just by touching a medallion. So she can be as strong as the elephant, she can disappear like a chameleon as fast as a cheetah, you know, whatever she wants. She's kind of like Animal Man meets Shazam, but... That's a whole nother thing. Um, but she did recently get her own TV show, which is awesome. And I thought it was going to be live action because you had the success of Flash and Arrow and iZombie. So I thought DC was going to do another live action show, but it ended up being a five minutes animated series, which I'm not okay with. But the series is good. It's it's really good. They, they talk about... Um, her origin story, you get a little bit about her past and stuff. And I mean, they're only about three episodes in, there's not really much going on in it. But I mean, it's very well written, it's very well done, and I can't wait to see more of it. Um, I have my opinions on it and everything, but with, you know, Captain Marvel getting her first uh, her first movie pretty soon and, and, and Vixen getting her TV show, I thought it was important that we get like kind of a female perspective on everything and like, you know, what a female thinks. So I invited Random Girl, and she's hey. here. Happy <laughs> to be here if you guys can tell. I'm happy! So she's gonna give us our, her take on the whole series because I mean, it's it's a huge deal for everybody and especially, you know, women, I think. So take it away! All right, so here we go. I think that Vixen is amazing. I found out, her, I found out about her about a month ago and they were like kind of teasing the, uh, the idea, not the idea, they were teasing uh, the premiere of Vixen you know, on the, I didn't know too much about it, I was excited because I love Vixen, I loved her since about 2010 when I first found out about her through combat watching the uh, animated series Justice League. I thought she was pretty bad, she was awesome. you know, so I was like writing about her back in 2010, I was writing about her, you know, um, you know, Facebook and about her like, hey, you know, I would love to see a Vixen anything, you know. I even wanted to see Mia Long play Vixen, just to be honest, I think that she would be a good person to play her. But anyway, long mm -hmm. story short, I think, so too. I think, I think Vixen is amazing. I'm happy that she has, I, I feel like, you know, the companies have to start off a little slow and because a lot of, not a lot of people know about her. Right. So they weren't sure if it would be like a safe route. You, I guess, you know, just being, trying to be safe. And I get just it. taking it slow and, you know, that's why I feel like they started off with the web series. But I think it's amazing. And while me and Combo are watching it, we are like, dude, like, oh man, it, the, like Tom was saying, it's so well written and everything. There's just the backstory behind it, how she grew up in foster care and all that, yeah. which is the reason why she has that dominant, strong, tough personality. And a lot of times, I can relate to it. So it's like, you know, I think she's an awesome character, and I believe that they're starting off slow with the animated series. And if it goes well, then maybe perhaps they should get her own TV show, like The Flash and whatnot, and then eventually her own movie. So I think they're doing a good job. Yeah, and I, and I, and I think that's true. I mean, like, uh, she does have her own miniseries. Um, comic book and everything like that, but she doesn't have anything ongoing like the, the comics I named. Like iZombies ha has been a long ongoing comic, uh, so is Flash and, and Arrow. Um, so I mean, I guess that makes sense to start off slow. I do wish they would kind of just, you know, go, in there, go right? hard or go home, yeah. balls to the yeah. wall. Yeah, and, that, and that's but, personally what I would do too. But right. you know, when you think about, you know, the companies and, you know, the writing and all that, producers, like, you know, you gotta be safe. So, you know. Yeah, I see where true. they were going with that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Have you actually watched it? If you haven't watched it, go to uh, CW.com um, or CWC.com. Yes. There's also an app where you can go to and watch. I'm going to leave a link right. down in the description so you guys can go check it out. Uh, the more people watch it, the more support they're going to get, the bigger it's going to be. And maybe she'll get her own movie. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like I said, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Please go watch it. If you have, let me know what you think about it. Uh, did, you, did you know much about Big Vixen before this? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I'm always wanting to know what you guys think. And until next time. <laughs> so long. <laughs>